everyone, this is Katie with IMG and today we're going to be talking about email templates. So in the part out email tab, over on the left hand side about halfway down is your email templates tab and it takes you right there. So you can use email templates in list emails or in your engagement studio, um, whichever you choose. You're going to select add email template. I'm going to name this sample. I'm going to hit choose campaign product default and we're going to hit save. So next we're going to choose uh, a layout if you'd like. If you don't choose a layout it's going to give you some default uh, content that you can fill in yourself. Uh, these layouts are going to give you options uh, as to how your template is going to look as far as images and columns um, and just the overall feel. We're going to hit apply. So here is your basic empty structure of a template. It gives you filler content. Um, it gives you images that you can add. All of these blocks are movable and repeatable. So just for an example, I'm going to show you that if we click into a template or part of the template that we want to edit on the left hand side, the content editor is going to open up on the right. So I'm going to upload an image here. You can either double click on this image over on the right or you can select it one time and hit this image button. I'm going to upload an image directly from my computer. So it will tell you if your file was uploaded successfully or not. I'm going to go back over into this image info tab. And it's going to tell me how wide and how tall this image is. This image is going to be shorter uh, and a bit less wide than the, uh, the actual email template itself, but it will still look okay. And there it is. And so if you wanted to add uh, a link to our homepage uh, with this image, we can click on it one time. We're going to select this link button. And we're going to choose a custom redirect that we've already created for our homepage here. We'll hit OK. So now when ho someone hovers over uh, the image or clicks on the image, it will take them to the, the URL uh, right underneath. So again, just another example. If you wanted to change some copy, anything that you do over in the right hand side is going to reflect in the left. So for a different example, I'm going to show you how to insert a variable tag or a merge field. I'm going to get rid of this image. So let's say instead of heading one, we wanted to say by first name. So we're going to select this merge field button over here on the right hand side. It has a little tag. And we're going to select recipient first name. Insert. And it will give you the pardot tag that Pardot will recognize that prospect's first name when you send the email. And then again, you have some more filler content. My first name, I'm gonna give it a little space in there. And the more you scroll, the more options you have uh, of your repeatable or movable blocks. Um, so we have uh, some links here. And so related to these links are some buttons that you can insert if you choose. I'm going to select this little rectangle right here. Um, over in the editor, I'm going to hit the drop down and it's going to give you some more options. So this little plus button right here is going to insert those social buttons that you can then link to your companies or your personal Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, email, etc. One thing to note with Pardot email templates is that you do have to have an unsubscribe um, or a preferences option uh, down on the bottom or it will not let you send. Uh, up on the top here is just a little snippet of your email um, that will be seen in uh, a preview. You do not have to have this here if you don't want to. You can insert your uh, subject line if you'd like. If you'd like to actually put a little teaser of what's in your email, you can insert that here or you can get rid of it and nothing will populate. So the next button over here 
uh, in your email editor in your template is this HTML button. This is where you can make any edits if you choose to do so in the code. Uh, I personally try to stay away from this uh, because all the edits I need to do generally can be done over in the content editor. One more thing in the editor I'm going to show you is how to change a background color. So I'm going to select this image one more time over in styles here on the right. I'm going to choose background. You can, if there was a uh, text in here, you could change the text color. If you had uh, a specific link, you could change the link color. But if you know the code for the color, you can certainly insert it here, or you can select a new color. I'm going to choose this red color, just to, for an example to show you that you can change the background color of your sections. I'm going to now change it back to white. And the next tab over I'm going to show you is the preview tab. So we have high recipient first name as our variable tag in here. And if we wanted to preview this as a prospect, we're gonna choose Al Bouye. And it's gonna show up as hi Al. So it's just gonna show you what it's gonna look like in Al's inbox. That's gonna tell Al all about repeatable content blocks. The next tab over after preview is the text tab. So in order to send anything out from Pardot that has HTML formatting, it does need to be synced with the HTML. We're gonna hit sync, we're gonna hit uh, emails. You can clean it up. Sometimes it does pull over some of the spacing that is in your template. Um, you can clean it up to make it look like however you'd like. There will be no formatting here, no bolds, no indents, no underlines. Um, that's not what I meant to say. There will be no formatting in uh, a text version of the email. You can insert merge fields still. There just won't be any, you know, bolds or italics or underlines here. Um, just a very simple plain text email. So after the building tab, so after you've gone through all your steps in the building tab, you can go over into the testing tab. Okay. So if you have um, a test email list in your Pardot that you've made and it has people that you need to send your test emails to um, and you've populated that list, you can select that list here or you can send it to an individual email. So I'm gonna send it to my grow with IMG email and I'm gonna hit send. And so it will tell you at the top that your test email was sent to whatever email you choose. The next tab over is your sending tab. So this is going to look exactly the same as your email draft with the exception of uh, the recipient information. You can, and that's about it. So if you have a sender in mind and you wanted it to be a specific user, so we're gonna send this from, it's going to populate in the, So for your sender, we're going to choose specific sender, and we're going to choose Gil. So Gil's name is going to populate in the recipient's inbox. If we said, if Gil said, okay, that's great, I don't want to get any of these replies, we can choose a different person to receive those direct response emails from our recipients. So Gil said, sorry, I don't want to get these send all the replies to Mallory. We can select that to happen here. If you wanted to change your subject line, you could do so. And now you can save this as a draft. But once you publish this template, you can use it in your engagement studio, or you can use it as another list email. I'm going to publish. And this is the preview of your email template.